that any hand that stretched to this life that is wrong to cause destruction and death shall not succeed but your mouth shall be the flame of fire what you bind on earth is bound in heaven what you lose on earth is lost in heaven in the name of jesus you have the anointing that no one shall touch you and go free in jesus name amen 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 that's it be careful from today don't go near unless if you have good thing to say he gave them power to war against what do you think jesus meant when he said power against all unclean spirits I went to a city and some press men arranged for a woman to hide in my hotel room huh? I went to bed I started sleeping but two hours later somebody had mental problem on the wardrobe fire 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 I said watch fire I checked the bathroom. I didn't think anybody could be in the wardrobe. When she was crying, fire, 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 fire. I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning. I heard the sound. I opened the door, nothing. Finally, I decided to open the wardrobe. Here was a woman, all the shirt burnt to ashes with fire. Hallelujah. Don't try it 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 he gave them power against unclean spirits she came out the dress torn her skin peeling I said, what happened? Why, why did you have it? He said, press man gave me money to say, when you start sleeping, I should come out of the wardrobe and lie with you. So they can say you committed adultery. She went to hospital. Seven days later, she died. Touch not my anointed. Sorry, I'm telling you dangerous story this morning. But that's the gospel. That's the gospel. What you are used to is hanky pumpkin, double decker, banana cheese message. <laughs> Why did he give them power to cast out devils, to heal the sick, to raise the dead, to open blind eyes? I never go to a crusade without miracle happening. You come to my city, my house is like train station. People, night and day, government, kings, nobles, touch me, touch me, touch me, touch my robe, touch my hand, touch my head. That's what they come for. And it works. I say it works. If you are going to be involved in a ministry that will bring glory to God, Get out of washy, washy sermons. Find where God is doing something lively. And be a part of that thing. There's no need for a pastor to come and say, Oh, well, we've been in this city for five years. Demons didn't let us succeed. What? Demons? Witches can't let us succeed. Who? Witches? light and darkness light and darkness who run from the other say darkness there's a story i was told they said there's a land where there's never sunlight 24 hours every day and so somebody came to visit sun and said there's a city 
we are told that every day of the year is dark. So son said, let me go there and see. So son left, S-U-N, left home and said, let me go see that land. He came and spent three months looking for that land. He couldn't find. So he said, I've been here for three months. I'm looking for darkness. <laughs> you didn't hear my story? They said, how could you find it? He said, you told me that the place is always dark every day. I've been here three months. I've never seen darkness. And they said, until you leave, darkness will never come back. Amen. How many will say amen to that? Amen. He gave them power against. Did you hear what I'm saying? Against unclean spirit it gave them power we were going to build our first miracle center church can you be writing all i'm saying since when you come a very big man in the land's office a neighbor who owned the land next to him to us gave him money and said tell the government not to approve the building plan for us he came and removed all the pegs of the building of the foundation I went to him like a man I said friend this is not my house this is God's house don't take the pegs away it belongs to God I said no you are violating the rules you are doing I said excuse me you can't do it <laughs> he said why not I said well Bye bye. <laughs> I said, if you leave us alone, you keep your job. If you don't leave us alone, I move you. He said, you don't work in the government. I said, I move you. Because God gave me power to bind and to lose. Caleb or Mohebe, He gave them power against all unclean schools. I said, friend, this is not my house. If you remove the peg of my house, fine. But this is God's house. He said, who is God? I said, oh my God. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> but the Spirit told me that that man is going to become my friend. So I drove to his office. I went to their boss. I said, I'm here in anger. I said, somebody has disturbed my spirit and he's touching God. He's touching me. He said, who? I gave him the name. He said, don't be angry. The man that was the overall head for the state pleaded with me. So I said, okay. Bye-bye. I left. The next morning, they moved him from Orlando, so to say, to Fort Lauderdale. They transferred him. And he said, I'm not going. So the boss said, you lose your job. Either you go or you lose your job. He said, I'm going. He left. Six months later, he saw me. He said, Dr. Idahosa, I want to apologize to you for what I did. I said, okay, do you want to come back? He said, yes. I took telephone. I called his boss. They brought him back. <laughs> so when we needed money to put roof, he gave me $200. For the same building, he said you couldn't build. He gave them power against unclean spirits. You play with the gospel. You are joking with the gospel. Jesus said, the prince of the darkness of this world has come. He has no part in me. If you, I thank God for this conference. If it wasn't for this conference, 
Christianity in America had three months left. By January, all of you would have been in greater trouble than you ever had. But thank God, mighty warriors come from. Can somebody say hallelujah? It has almost become fearful for a pastor to ride good car now in America. To own good home. Because the press is coming. But we can stop it. I say we can stop it. I say we can stop it. We can stop it. Devil, stop it. Devil, stop it. He gave them power against unclean spirit. Remember my first message in this place? If I be a man of God. <laughs> you don't play with God's people. How you say his name is Big John Hall. It's not just haul, it can haul you. <laughs> you can touch anything. You don't touch my God. You understand what I'm talking? It's time for the church to say, I have power. Oh, amen. The world is making jest of the church as if we are orphans we are not orphans we are not orphans we have our heavenly father he's in charge of heaven and earth and power belongs to god say hallelujah he called them and gave them power against unclean spirits What are you doing with this power? You think, oh, I, I just, are you anointed? Yes. How do you know? I fell yesterday. <laughs> he didn't give them power to fall. He gave them power to lift those who fell. <laughs> to heal all manner of sickness with my two eyes i've seen blind eyes open i've seen deaf ears on stop i've seen lame walk i've seen a child in our crusade in kenya kamakunji field 1973 you were there a child was brought to one of our crusades born with no eye bulbs flat face five days she came to this this woman brought the son to the crusade had face had what this one but no eyeball had face but no eyeball i asked the woman what happened he said when she was pregnant they bewitched her so that child was born with no eyeball First night, nothing happened. Blind saw. One night, 11 people got out of wheelchair. The third night, 17 blind people, totally blind, saw. But this woman, nothing happened. 
So she called my wife every evening. Tell your husband to give my child eyes. I have prayed for blind eye to open, but I've never seen someone with no eye in my life. So my wife said, he can pray for if the child was blind. So she said, the power that opened blind eye, can he not give new eyes? Everybody say power. <laughs> say power. <laughs> the last night, she came to the meeting in Kenya. Crusade start in the afternoon. Nine a.m. She was on the field. She came very close to the platform. There are about two hundred ministers in my platform. When I came, he said. So I said, fine. I looked. I said, my wife, where are we going to pass when we close? This woman is going to hold me. I said, she's desperate. She said, yeah, when you ask them to close their eyes, you can go. So I said, good, that's a good one. <laughs> I preached. I prayed. And I said, now lay your hand in where you have your problem i'm going to ask god to open blind eyes or stop deaf ears which is my crusade character you can't lay hand on five hundred thousand people and she put two fingers in the place she thought the eye should be wow. while i was rebuking the buka Somebody say hallelujah. <laughs> the boy began to scream. Began to cry. I'm looking for a way to escape. The boy is crying. So, and I said, do now what you couldn't do before. And this woman began to jump and shout. I thought she was jumping to come and meet me. So I tried to jump down. She said, he can see, he can see, he can see. I'm trying to go out. So she spoke Swahili. That the boy has eyeball. Here am I trying to escape. Here's the woman shouting that the boy has two eyeballs. So I jumped back. That's why you can't take credit for miracle. Because <laughs> I was trying to run away. But God was at home. <laughs> I said, God was at home. <laughs> All manner of sicknesses. Hallelujah. We brought the boy out, and it was in newspaper in Kenya, the nation. Boy born with no eyeball received miracle. Two bright eyeball were created by miracle of God. Somebody say hallelujah. you are here yes. almighty warriors yes. it's the dawning of a new day it's the dawning of a new day it's the dawning of a new day is the dawning of a new day yeah. hallelujah yeah. hallelujah yeah. he gave them power to heal all manner of diseases here today people gimmick people do what they like send you bandages send you toilet roll send you oil send you dried bread send you pictures and ask you to put your hand on it which is not bad but what happens do you have the power when it comes to tough time i believe in point of contact i believe in it 
But the greatest miracle that can happen in your life is the one that happened to you. Can you say amen? amen. That child's eye opened. I began to weep. Three miracles has happened in my life out of the millions of miracles I've seen. The first time I saw the dumb speak. The first time I saw a leper cleanse. And the first time I saw this boy with no eyeball created by miracle. All other miracles I smile. But these three I cried. And I have seen thousands of... I've laid hands on dead people. Eight have risen from dead in my ministry. But that's not my calling. I'm a bold man. I'm bold. I'm bold. Came to call me, say somebody died. I go there in anger. Say, dead, you have no right to be here. Leave in Jesus' name. He gave them power. If you are going to preach the gospel, don't imitate any man that failed. Don't be too humble to look like a man who failed. Look for a man who have succeeded. Go to Benny Hens. Go to Ora Robert. Go to T.L. Osborne. Don't seek cancer from a man that have done nothing. The only man who will criticize you and you listening, or you, or you, in your life, is the man that have done twice what you are trying to do once. The only person when he criticizes you and you say listen is the person that have done twice what you are trying to do once. If they've done nothing and they are making noise, <laughs> be like me first before you tell me what to do. If you've not done one tenth of what I've done and you are making noise. The press asked me on my birthday, 51st birthday, last two months, what's the biggest problem you have ever found in your life? I said, me. They said, why? I said, because every time I believe you, I do the wrong thing. If I listen to what you say, I miss the mark. So I listen to God. So you didn't call me. I'm not going to give account to you. I'm giving account to God. Can somebody say hallelujah? He gave them power. Against, say against. Yes. That's what I'm after. Many of you have power for this, power for this, power for this, power for this, power for that. You've never had power against. I couldn't be alive in Africa if I was having only power for. If all the power I've ever had was for, I would have been buried long ago. My city, they used to use children' blood for tea. Witches and wizards tell you. Two o'clock this afternoon, I'm going to kill you, and you really die. When God raised me, say you stop it. I woke up. I said, God, I'm going to stop it. I said, How do I do that? He said, Not by mind, not by power, but by my spirit. I'm going to be in your mouth. To bind and to lose. I'm going to be in your mouth. To set the captive free. I'm going to be in your mouth. To heal the city. And I'm going to use you. To send the power of demons out of this town. So I send notice to all the witches and wizards. I say I'm here now. Government change hand. Did you hear me? <laughs> you got that. You got that. Government change hand. You have been in charge. Now I'm Jesus and me, we are in church. Yeah. Devil! Yeah. Devil! Clean spirit to cast them out. 
when you live here on Sunday night, go to your city. The demon of prostitute, out. The demon of witchcraft, out. The demon of fear, out. The spirit that put the church down, out. It's not enough to use the name of Jesus turning around and falling and getting up. As child's play. Child's play. Jesus I see Satan coming from heaven like lightning. That's in the Bible. I saw Satan falling down from heaven like lightning. That's real spirit of demons. Don't go back from Orlando gambling with the name of Jesus. Go back mighty warrior. Hallelujah! Mighty warrior! Let everybody say you are no more afraid. Say yeah, I resign. I quit. Say I resign. From fear club, from dying club, from being afraid, I resign, I quit, Jesus, in me, the hope of glory, hallelujah, mighty warrior, that's why you are here. To learn how to fire up you get back to your town be in church yes. so devil government change hand yes. government change hand right. devil about to you enough fear fear me everybody say that fear, fear. For fear to hear me coming and say, Oh, it also is on the way. <laughs> That's why you must not clap as if you are in the grave. That's why you must not sing as if you are having funeral. It takes the power and the anointing of God to sing. Dr. Hen and I were talking when Reverend Big John Hall was singing. I said, Look at the talent. This height alone should frighten the devil. If you do not improve on your gift, your gift will be lost. Amen. If you don't use your talent, your talent vanish. Walk while it's day. For night cometh when no man shall walk again. There's no city in America that needs storytelling pastors. They need devil casters. There is no city in America that needs noise-making pastors. Amen. They need devil-casting pastors. Amen. Can I tell you a secret? Then I quit. I want to tell you a secret, then I quit. You know when problem came to TV ministry? When all the big TV stars began to consult Los Angeles trick stars for style of how to get money from the people. 1975, the big ministries in America began to employ the services of the trick stars in Los Angeles to teach them how to sit on TV how to cry, how to write mailing letters that is trickish, how to appeal for money. So none of them prayed anymore. They began to learn tricks. And the devil took advantage of their doing it in human ways instead of God's way.
so they, they employ experts to tell you when to cry in the middle of your program experts to tell you how to bring your face how to appeal for money no gospel and the devil said fine i gave it to you i will take it from you they left god's business to serve tables nobody was talking again about missions they substituted their vision with the ambition so they gained ambition and lost vision and that's what ruined tv and even the biggest name on tv today deny that they are christian station He gave them power against all unclean spirit. Go back to your church after Sunday. Tell them a new man have come from Orlando. And now say revival, revival, revival. Bring the deaf, bring the blind, bring the dumb, bring the sick, bring the lame. Lay hand. They shall recover. Heal all manners. Go back and preach prosperity. Prosperity is not from Tulsa. It's from Jesus. Yeah. And it's not a white man's gospel. It's Bible gospel. Yeah. Some of you blacks say, uh, the reason I'm poor is because I'm black. It's not because you are black, it's because you are a dummy. noise making use your brain use your hand the bible says i shall bless the labor of your hands there's no difference between big john hall and myself one head one head two eyes two eyes two hands two hands two legs two legs what's the difference the use of the brain you put your brain in the freezer it doesn't work put it to work it gives you results somebody say hallelujah and any pastor specialized in funeral service can never have revival. Any pastor specialized in funeral service, in funeral service, can never have revival. So let the dead bury the dead. There are many pastors that would have been here, but they are going to have funeral this week. I don't bury the dead. If I pray for you to get up, you refuse, someone else bury you. That's why I have 5,000 pastors. I come and say, brother, get up, your job has not finished. I say, get up. You refuse. Second time, get up. I take my Bible, I leave. I say, Pastor John, take care of him. I was not called for the dead, I'm called for the living. Can you say amen? amen. Some of you are so used to memorial service, funeral service. You are not used to revival. It's time for you to be used to revival. Go back from Orlando. They say, Why did Benny Hen why did you go to Benny Hen's church? I went there to bring a sword home to tell the devil shut. <laughs> Everything that was against you, listen to this. It's going to be my last statement of the beginning. I'm coming back here. Coming back. Sorry, my convention starts in Africa today. Fifty two thousand people are coming. Why did you go to Orlando? I went there to collect power against everything that was against me. <laughs> you hear me? All my friends now are those who believe in what I'm doing. If you don't believe in what I'm doing, you want to take my life? I report to headquarters. They take care of you.
if what happened to Jimbeka happened in Africa, the government would be on fire. My people wouldn't let that nonsense happen. Of course, anybody that tried to touch you now is touching God. <laughs> and you say bye-bye. <laughs> This message and a collection of other messages are available at Iwo Media Services. Iwo Media Services, inspirational, world-class production. There are few